hello lovies and welcome back to my channel it's queen and today i'm coming to you guys with my april favorites and this is my first favorites video that i'm doing i've been wanting to do them for a while because a lot of youtubers do it and they just usually just let their subscribers know like what their favorites were for the month so i decided to do the same thing so if you guys like it then just comment down below in the um comment section and just let me know you guys let's just jump right into it so the first thing that became my favorite this month and i've actually tried it only one time and i'm going to be doing it again today is the cream of nature with argan oil from morocco intensive conditioning treatment and you guys like i love this stuff like when i used it last week i used it as a deep conditioner because i hadn't done a dc since um i had big chop and so I used this last week and you guys like I fell in love like instantly like my hair was so soft it has such great slip and a little goes a long way I thought I was going to have to use a lot and I'm pretty much heavy handed with a lot of things in particular just products but um with this you really don't have to unless you just really want to but my hair is very thick so I went heavy handed on this you guys and I paid like three dollars for it because it was on sale at Sally's um the, you get two dollars off at the time so I wish I would have gotten two but now that I know that I like this it's going to become like one of my new staples so yeah moving on the next thing is the curls passion fruit curl control paste and when I tell you guys, like, I have been using the hell out of this stuff, like, I've been using the hell out of it, like, I've only really been able to, like, use it since I've really gone natural, because while I was transitioning, it would hold, like, my edges wouldn't lay down, but ever since I big chopped, I haven't had any problems with laying my edges down, and this stuff, you guys, is the bomb. I think I paid, I think, I'm just gonna say I paid six dollars for it, like, Stylist has become my new hair store basically. I used to just go to the regular old, you know, black beauty supply store, but lately it's just been Sally's. And if you guys haven't, or if you already do, then you already know what I'm talking about. Sally's has a lot of good sales, you guys, and you just really need to check it out. But the curls control paste, you guys, this is the bomb. They have a blueberry one, but I can't find it. My sellers here, I just think they don't carry it, but um, I might just have to order the other one offline because I really like to try that one as well. So the next item I have is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner. Now this has been almost an empty for like almost two months you guys. I've just been scraping what was left out of it. <laughs> and it smells so good you guys. And the reason why I like this by Shea Moisture is because it's a 3 in 1. You can use it as a pre-poo, you can use it as a... um leave-in conditioner and you can use it as a deep conditioner and I believe I paid ten dollars for it but you guys it's well worth it like I've had this stuff for like three months and like last weekend was like the last weekend I used all of this stuff and like I don't have any more except for what's at the bottom you guys and I just really like it and if you use products by Shea Moisture then Again, you know what I'm talking about because they give such a great slip, you guys. They really hydrate your hair. And I love Shea Butters as it is. So, yeah, you guys, if you haven't checked them out, especially the African Black Soap online, y'all check it out because I also have this shampoo, the um, cleansing shampoo, and it works amazing too, you guys. Um, Another favorite I have for this month, if you guys have been following me on my Instagram or uh, Facebook, or even on here here on YouTube, you guys. Um, one of my staples, and I mean it, it was a staple even when I was transitioning, you guys, is my organic coconut oil. And I got this from TJ Maxx. I paid $4.99 for it, but they also sell it at Burlington's too. But it is the Virgin Expeller Press Spiral Organic Coconut Oil. And I know people um say it's better to get the unrefined, but I saw this and I was just like, it's organic coconut oil. I've been wanting to try it and if you go into Walmart, you know, it's pretty, it's, it can be pretty expensive. So when I saw this one was for $5, I just hopped on it, you guys. And I have been using the bejesus out of it. Like, look, it's like almost gone, you guys. And I love this stuff. Like, I use it for a pre-poo all the time. Like, I pre-poo, whether it's co-washing or a washing day, a regular shampoo day, washing day. <laughs> and I just love it, you guys. Like, coconut oil, it has... It has um it has its own scent and I'm not really a fan of like eating coconut or anything like with a coconut smell to it. But the organic coconut oil as far as like using it on my hair, you guys, like 
I love it. Like that was like the best thing I could have ever came across when I was transitioning was pre-pooing and the best thing to use for me is the organic coconut oil and you guys I just love it so if you're transitioning or if you're natural you guys then you know what I'm talking about with the coconut oil because I just love it I love it love it love it love it love it and I'll be buying some more the next thing that I have as far as hair wise is the as I am beautiful coils and curls naturally coconut co-wash cleansing conditioner you guys now the As I Am line, you guys, uh, I haven't tried any other products on their line, but this co-wash, this co-wash, okay, you guys, I love this stuff. It is like, this has such great slip, you guys, like I use so much of this stuff, like when I co-wash, like I just go to town you guys like it smells so good it has such great slip you guys and my scalp feels so much cleaner after using their co-wash from the um, as I am line you guys and this is this is my first container this is from like two months ago I already have another one and it's halfway gone so this has become a staple you guys like I, I'm I don't use any other co-wash that like this is this is my holy grail this is all I use co-wash okay like I very rarely even shampoo as it is so <laughs> but I love this stuff you guys and like I got it for Sally's and I think I paid six dollars for it which isn't bad because I think original things like almost eight I'm not sure because I have the Bally um the Bally's the Sally's beauty club membership thing where you, you know get the little perks and discounts so yeah I didn't pay full price but you guys I'm telling you try this out this as I am co-wash the coconut co-wash you guys it's my hair loves it loves it so the next thing that I have it's another hair product you guys I have a lot of empty hair products because when I start at that between the time when I was last few months I was transitioning and then before I big chopped you guys like I really started um trying out new products because I wanted to see what my hair really liked before I big chop so that way when I did big chop I wouldn't be trying to figure out oh gosh what could what to use what not to use but this is the Shea Moisture Tahitian Noni and Manoi Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask with Keratin Peptides and Botanical Extracts and you guys this stuff is the bomb now this is what I was using for a deep conditioner before I started using the cream of nature with argon oil intensive conditioning treatment and this is like a treatment you can deep condition it with it because you um, can sit under the dryer for um, 15 minutes or so and I sat on it for 30 minutes and I liked it and I did the same thing with this you guys in all honesty like I love both of them so if I don't have this one, I'm going to use this one and vice versa. But as far as this one, you guys, it has such great slip. It, it's in this, it's, it's like literally a hair mask. So it is very thick. And like, I just, you know, I just scraped it out of there. Like once I got down to this, I just said, I can't use anymore. I wouldn't have enough to cover my whole head. But, um, yeah, it says our intensive treatment, deep conditions, and infuses hair with a powerful dose of moisture. Certified organic shea butter, revitalizing Tahiti Noni and Manoi oils, blended with keratin peptides and botanical extracts, hydrate, strengthen, and repair frizzy flyaway hair. Help smooth hair cuticle, controlling frizz, and maintaining straight styles. Now, you guys, I like frizz, but not a whole bunch of frizz. And living here in Florida, it's it's always humid, even if it's cold. I don't know how to describe it. It's just always some type of humidity. So um, when I'm deep conditioning, I'm always trying to find something that's going to help with reducing frizz, as far and also helping with retaining moisture. So with it being humid here, my hair follicles always tend to rise it won't lay down because of the humidity so it open, opens up my hair follicles but you guys I like this stuff it really 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 does work I wouldn't recommend like using this every time like you deep condition though because it's like a hair mask and um yeah so I would just use this probably like bi-weekly you know every two weeks and then use your other um deep conditioner you know or whatever but you might even just need to use this as a um as need basis really and yeah i would just use this as an as need basis and then stick with your regular deep conditioner but you guys a hair mask wise i recommend this this is like the bomb okay um do i have any more hair products yeah now this one i just recently discovered is talia wahid I hope I said this right. I'm pretty sure. 
I did, but I hope I did. Talia Waheed Curls Waves Naturals Curly Curl Cream. You guys, when I tell y'all, this is some of the best stuff I have smelled. It's like a hair product besides Shea Moisture. Now, Shea Moisture, their hair products always smell good. They always have some kind of phenomenal scent to them. But when I saw this in salads, honey, and me and Lexa was in there, and I opened it, and we both, we said, I said, oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. And it is, it has, it's, it's not sticky. I'm not going to say it's sticky, because it's not. A little goes a long way. I wouldn't use a lot, um, especially like if you're doing like a twist out or something, because it'll make your hair too heavy. And I've learned that trial and error. I've done that like twice. So like now I use the stuff, I use it sparingly. And it is so thick. And it smells so good. And when you put it on your hair, you guys, it, it has like a little white um, color to it. But it dries clear. So don't let that spook you if you use this or whatnot. But you guys, I, I just love how this stuff smells. And you can use it for twist outs, um, two strand twists, bantu knots. Um, and you can use it on wet or dry hair. I usually use it on my wet hair. I might just need to try it on dry hair this time. I haven't tried it on dry hair, but you guys, I like, I love this stuff. And like, this is another one of my, this is going to be one of my Holy Grail staples. Pretty much everything I'm showing you is a staple for me, you guys, because I'm the type where I don't like to buy a lot of stuff all the time. So once I have a few set items that I really know that I like I tend to stock up and then I don't have to go back to the store for a while and I just like to do that I don't like going back and forth to the store all the time but yeah so now moving on to body and face and all that kind of stuff now um I have acne and it's not as bad as like when I was younger, like in high school and middle school and all that stuff now. But I do have scars. And you know, once you have acne scars, you guys, they pretty much don't go away. But, um, <clears throat> but, um, you can help to control your acne. So, um, and to help reduce as many, um, flare-ups as possible, you know, breakouts. And I, mine tend to always be in the cheek region. I don't know why. That's just where mine mainly pops up at. You would think it would be the T-zone because my skin is very oily. It's not, it doesn't look like it right now, but give it a few hours and, um, yeah, my face is going to be shiny. But anyways, I picked this up at Walmart and, um... When I was young, I used to use Noxzema, but it was too strong for my face. It actually made my face break out more and then added dryness to it. But with this, this is by Equate Beauty, basically from Walmart, you guys. Walmart. I love Walmart. Everybody loves Walmart. Who doesn't love Walmart? <laughs> and this is their deep cleansing skin, kick, skin cream with eucalyptus oil. And it cleanses and refreshes for smooth, soft skin. And I like this stuff, guys. And I also have another kind but it's by family dollar it works just as good you guys but i used to use the proactive but now it's just so expensive to use and so like i just backed off from using it even though it was very helpful i just couldn't afford it it's just too much so i started using this and i actually like it it doesn't dry my skin out it does help with my um acne and everything right now i just have a few flare-ups right now i hope they calm down um because see graduation is tomorrow and i really don't want to have a whole bunch of blemishes when i wake up tomorrow morning but i just wet my face smooth this on before i get in the shower and i let it sit on my face while i'm showering and then um i'll um usually go in with um my facial scrub or something like i have an um neutrogena that i'm using right now with the little micro beads in it and at home and that also helps with acne control and it has helped along with this it has helped with um controlling my acne flare-ups you guys and I just love this stuff and I mean I scraped the hell out of that too like it's just completely empty but it has like a little um you can smell the eucalyptus you guys it has smells it has like a cooling scent if that makes sense um yeah oh, my camera's fixing to die I hope it doesn't die you guys I only have a few more items you guys um the next thing I have is by tree hut matter of fact the last few items I have is by tree hut and I found out about Tree Hut by the um glam, the glam twinkle twins, you guys that are here on YouTube. And um the first product that I used by Tree Hut was this. It's the Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Wash, the Brazilian nut, you guys. Whoo! When I tell y'all, 
This is some of the best body wash I have used next to like Dove. And I love Dove body wash, you guys, along with Olay. Honey, this is good for the summertime. Summertime. You talking about you want your skin to stay moisturized and hydrated? This is it. I picked this up at Burlington and I think I paid I paid $3.99 for it and it's originally $6. I would never pay $6 for a body wash. I'm just gonna tell y'all that right now. Never, ever, ever, ever will I pay $6 for a body wash. But pick this up at Burlington, you guys, and this stuff, it just smells so good and you can like literally feel the oils in the body wash like if you okay i shower with this you know a lather whatever and then um i rinse off and then like if you're gonna use like a body scrub use it with this you guys use your body scrub like scrub 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 and then rinse and then go back in with this and when i tell you when you step out the shower you'll have baby soft skin yes and I just love this stuff, you guys. And I hope I can find some more. This is actually the second bottle I have. And it's empty. Like, it's just empty. So, hopefully I can find it in Burlington again. If not, you guys. And I might just have to suck it up and go to Ulta and pay full price. <sighs> but I have a card there with them, you too, guys. So, hey. If y'all if y'all like me and you like a good deal, sign up for these people's discount cards. I'm telling you, you don't have to pay full price for everything unless you just really want to. So, the next thing that I have by Tree Hut... It was two of them. <clears throat> One's actually already empty. And then this one, is, we're still in the process of finishing. <laughs> but you guys, this is by Tree Hut. This is the first one that I got. And this is the Shea Sugar Scrub, the Hawaiian Kukui. Whoo! Now this one smells bomb, you guys. Like, it has a fruity, just warming, um... To me, I'm always quick to say something that smells like mango, but if anybody has smelled mango, then you know it has like a sweet smell to it. And this is what it reminds me of. It's not mango, but you guys, it smells so, 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 so good. And when I tell you, like you can see the oils. I don't know if y'all can see it, but you can like see the oils in there, like at the bottom with the um with the beads, you guys. And I'm telling you, like, I love this stuff, you guys. Like, I use the hell out of this stuff. And we use this one up like two I'm gonna say about two or three months ago I just haven't done a favorites video yet and then with this one it's the olive and shea sugar body scrub now this one I got at oh did I get this one at Walmart I'm not I don't know where I got this one from you guys I think I got this one from Ulta or I either got this one from Walmart but I think I paid $5.49 for this one and then for this one I paid $4.99 for it but uh, I don't think that's bad for like a body scrub. And I mean, it's a pretty good size container and me and my girlfriend use it. And I think that's not bad. I mean, if two people are using it, I mean, and we've had this one for like a little over a month now. That's not bad. And um, this one, you guys, you can smell the lavender and the chamomile. Like it has such a calming, relaxing scent. Like in the morning times, you guys, like it's it's amazing to use. Even at nighttime, I have used it. Like, you know, going out, working out at the gym, come home and shower and all that stuff. And I'll come home and I'll use this with my body wash, you guys. And like, you're talking about feeling so relaxed when you get home and you use this stuff, you guys. Like it is just like the icing on the cake for the day. Like if you had a bad day and you're just like, Lord, I need to relax. Honey, come home, take a bath. Use this. All your worries will go away for the time being, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, the last item that I have, you guys, and it's a hair product. It is by Shea Moisture. You guys are probably like, damn, she loves Shea Moisture. Yes, I do love Shea Moisture, but they are expensive. Or maybe I'm just cheap. I don't know. But I like Shea Moisture. I love their products. Like, I love how they smell and the quality of it. And they're really not expensive, you guys. But I'm just a bargain shopper. But anyway, so this is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle with agave nectar and flaxseed oil. And you guys, like, I love this stuff. But let me warn you. And it says it on here. Let me make sure I'm, let me, let me just make sure I'm going to say this right. Apply sparingly. And they're not lying because this stuff, you do not need a whole bunch of it, you guys. Like, <clears throat> it is really like a gel, like a, I don't know, like a, it's real liquidy light. And I guess that's because, maybe because of all the oils that are in it. But when I did my, um, 
recent tutorial the um curling go fro you guys like i really did not use much of it i just used like a little i'm just gonna say like a, a dime size maybe a nickel size of it on each section of my hair and um you guys it really does it has it helps your hair like give it a curl definition but i think as far as like my hair you guys i'm still trying to figure out the texture i know around the back and this front area around here that is a type four all day long and all day long like i don't have any problems with that curling but in the back here i don't know if i'm dealing with an elasticity issue with my hair or if it's just a different curl pattern and i really don't want to have to do an elasticity treatment if i really don't have to so i've just been waiting since i haven't even been natural a full month yet to see how my hair is going to really do on its own you guys but i'm not casting this one out but i do like it though because it does give a nice hold and i use it along with this and so I used a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And together, you guys, it gave me a nice curl and go fro. So, yeah, you guys, this was it for my April favorites. I hope you guys liked it. I mean, this is my first time doing it. And if it was really up to me, you guys, it would have been a longer video because I have a whole bunch of favorites. I mean, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been using, you guys, over the last month or so. Especially, like, lipsticks, lip gloss, and makeup and all that kind of stuff. So, maybe I'll just do... A separate video on um my makeup favorites or something like that i don't know if you guys are interested in that but if you are just let me know down below in the comment section you guys um i hope you enjoyed my first april favorites videos you guys and i will see you next month with the main one have a good one lovies bye